Okay, uh, good to get a win. Uh, always, always good to win in the National Football League in particular. Uh, when you come here at, at Arrowhead uh, against a good football team, um, you know, led by Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes. Thought it was really good effort all, all across the board. Guys played hard. Um, you know, it was going to be back and forth as it was. We knew that, and we jumped out early, and then, and then, then they came back. And had some momentum, I think, back half of the second quarter and then somewhat in, into, the, uh, into the third quarter and fourth, and we just you know, stayed, uh, stayed the course. And good to see the defense come out and seal the game. Uh, I thought that drive by the offense was important as well. So um, still things we can work on overall. Um, but again, good win and, and uh, proud of the guys. Can you speak to you know, all the turbulence that obviously was surrounding building this week. Can you speak to what it was like you know, behind the scenes that we don't see yeah. to get ready for this week? Yeah, I mean, um, praise God, number one. I mean, just our guys were the staff, the, the players, steadfast in their focus. Um, I couldn't be more proud of a group. I really couldn't at this point in the regular season. Um, to, to a person, they didn't flinch. Um, they were focused. They supported one another. They supported me. And I don't take that for granted uh, at all. And uh, I'm just super proud of those guys and um, just a resilient group. Yeah, I mean, um, again, just so thankful. I'm grateful for so many things. Um, you know, so many people that reached out. Um, Andy Reid, um, many of their staff after the game in particular. Um, I know quite a few of their coaches and staff and their class acts, so I appreciate that. My family appreciates that. Um, just incredible support uh, this week, in particular the last couple of days for, for myself and my family. And um, that's what Buffalo is all about. I mean, we moved here six, six years ago, and the friends that we've made, the support that we've gotten. Um, before I came to the stadium, called my wife, and she's like, I continue to get texts from, you know, uh, our neighbors, our friends in Buffalo, and um, couldn't be more thankful and more grateful for that. They shot to close this game out on defense. Um, how much did we to see that? Yeah, um, really proud of those guys. They went out there. They knew what they had to had to get done. I mean, the the thing that's challenging, in, in, you know, in addition to going against Patrick, is is the field goal kickers. As you know, he's one of the best. He, he's, I think he's made one from 60, 60 plus already this season, if I'm not mistaken. And, and so you're def you're defending a small window of grass right there. And and uh, we were aggressive. Uh, we were staying aggressive, um, and the guys responded. And we got them behind the sticks there. And and the guys closed it out. Well, you know what? To be honest, I wasn't sure. I, you know, we were in man to man. I, I thought someone was young. We got picked, and then as you know, as the play unfolded, I think it was Kelsey that was wide open there. And um, the play after he, he caught the ball was uh, I've never seen a play like that in the NFL. You know, um, but, but thankful, and you know, then the, then uh, I saw the uh, the referees. Signaling that that direction, so I didn't know if it was a pick or what it was, and then it turned out to be the offside. Can you take us through some detail of the last two minutes in terms of what your mindset was, your philosophy, what you wanted to do? Yeah, I just wanted I wanted to be aggressive. Uh, that's how we practiced it during the week. Um, we studied it over the bye week. Um, we studied it long, and uh, the staff I thought did a great job. Uh, it was very thorough in terms of in terms of the research we did, and um, and then we practiced it that way. And so um, started practice on Wednesday with a two-minute drill like we normally do, then added another two-minute drill live with the offense at the end of practice on Wednesday, and it pays off. Right? So guys were comfortable in that situation, and, and they executed at, at a high level. What did you learn in your research? Um, I mean, <laughs> the list, I mean, the list is it's, it's long, but at the same time, um, and I just went back to Studying, going, you know, going back all of our two minutes this year, um, all of my two minutes as a as a play caller over the years, um, teams that did it well have done it well this year. So it's, it was rather extensive, and um, it's it's never really one thing, Tim. Uh, being honest with you, it's it's um, you get a good sample of hey, you know, this team's doing that, and then you get some teams that 
you know, honestly, quite honestly, there's people wide open, and guys are dropping balls, and so uh, you like to catch a break once in a while, and uh, and so we just, it's a combination of things. I don't have a clear answer for you. Uh, we got a lot of things going through my head um, as it relates to the two minute in particular, but um, just thought the guys came out, you know, and then when you get the, uh, I think it was the sack on third down or, or something like that, we got there or close to a sack, and. Um, you know, staying with Russian four, Patrick usually does a good job extending plays in those situations in the critical moments, and and that we were able to collapse the pocket on him way through it, and and uh, got the incomplete to him. Did you feel, uh, did you feel Joe put you in a little bit of a precarious spot with the play calling before the two minute warning? You could have gotten down to the two if you just won the first down probably. Yeah, I mean it's it's um it's a balance, it's delicate balance there. You know, you you got to know who you're playing on the other side too. Are you playing for three or are you playing for seven and and trying to make it that type of game. Uh, whenever you're going against an elite quarterback and an elite offense, um, you've got, you got to stay aggressive too. So it, it is a balance. Uh, I thought the offense did some really good things tonight. Sean, Mike, what, did the the things things that, what did you see out of James today? What did he bring to the offense? Yeah, I thought he, he, re, he rebounded from last week in terms of the passing game. Um, and that showed up in practice. Uh, like I mentioned earlier in the week, he's, he's growing, he's developing. Um, it's, a, it's a joy as a coach to watch a player continue to Take steps in terms of his development. Sean, so Micah's injury is that more of the same? Is that to, you know? I, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know anything else at this point. I just know he was out of the game, and so I don't know where that stands right now. Sean, I know one of the things that you talk about often is always being right here, never riding the way. Yeah. How hard was that this week, though? Um. Yeah, I mean, the players I thought set a great example of it. Led by Josh, Micah, uh, our captains. Um, you know, like I, like you guys have probably heard when we left that meeting, that follow-up meeting that we had on, I guess that would have been Thursday. Um, they were, they were again steadfast. They weren't flinching. They knew. Um, they just knew what the what the vision was moving forward, and uh, and they set and they set a great example, and so. Um, you know, there was some moments for me, quite honestly, where um, you know I had to deal with some other things. Obviously, you know, more than I would have liked to um, in terms of taking my eyes off of film and, and whatnot. But the staff did a phenomenal job of of, uh, of picking up uh, the slack when I wasn't there. When you see everybody rally behind you like that, like you know, yeah, smiles. Yeah, I mean, it's you know they mean the world to me. Um, and they showed their, their, you know, their, their care, appreciation, love for me and my family. And this is professional sports. You don't get that um, everywhere. And um, the Buffalo community, same thing. It's like I said, we moved here six years ago. It's not like we've been here our entire lives. And um, they've just embraced us. And so we're so grateful as a family. Hey, Sean, uh, last one, please. Josh was third down, throw right in front of you, throw it to you. How unique of a play is it for a quarterback to sort of know where he is on the field? It's just fine with him. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, um, that was how we drew it up in the playbook, really, you know. Um, he's got an unbelievable feel. And uh, I mean, to, to know where, I think he did something earlier with Dalton in the game as well. And um, he makes some plays that very few, if anyone, in the league can make. And so um, that's part of what makes him special. Thank you. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.